hello friends welcome to easy homemade projects in today's video i will show you how to make a stepper motor based two-way conveyor belt system this video is sponsored by all pcb they are the fastest PCB manufacturers in China. You can order your 1 to 6 layer PCBs just from 1 US dollar and if you are a new user you can get all these coupon discounts for your first order. You can read out their manufacturing capabilities here and they also support PCB assembly and component sourcing service. And one more interesting thing about them is they support multiple payment and shipping methods so you can choose anyone according to your budget and your requirements to order your pcbs simply click here on quote now and it will bring you on the next page and here you can upload your gerber files and after uploading the gerber files you can choose quantity for your pcbs and from here you can choose the color and after that you can click here now you can see here the price is only one dollar for your first order for five PCBs and here you can see the shipping cost is also very reasonable and your first order ticket is automatically applied here and now you can click here to place your order to order for PCB assembly you can click here and then it will bring you on this page and here you can enter these parameters according to your requirements and then you can click here on quote now and if you want to order components for your PCB you can click here on component sourcing and uh, here you can upload your bill of material file and then they will arrange components for your project from top distributors and uh, after getting all the components they will send you all these components along with your PCBs ok guys so after a few days i got our pcbs from all pcb here is the box let me open it and show you our new pcbs so guys as you can see the build quality is very good i ordered matte green color which looks pretty nice here are all the components that are required to complete this PCB so first of all here is Arduino Nano a 1 kilo ohm resistor and two 10 kilo ohm resistors a4988 stepper motor driver a 50 kilo ohm potentiometer a 220 microfarad capacitor some male and female heater pins a 5 mm red color LED for power indication, a DC power jack, 7805 voltage regulator with this heat sink and this is our PCB. Now I will solder all these components to our PCB. Ok guys so component soldering is done and uh, now our PCB is complete. Here are some components that are required to complete our project. First of all you can see this is a NEMA 17 stepper motor and uh, here are some nut bolt and screws two pieces of 8 mm shaft here are four ball bearings the model number of bearing is 608 here are two pulleys and a timing belt and uh, this is our PCB here are some 3D printed parts these two are rollers and uh, this is a NEMA 17 stepper motor bracket here are four shaft spacers and four nut holders and here are four ball bearing holders you can get more details about these components in video description here are some other materials for our project first of all here you can see this is a 27 by 8.5 centimeter wide piece of laminated sheet but you can also use a piece of wood here I made this conveyor belt with the help of Rexine sheet and then I make a joint uh, with the help of this transparent tape so the tape is strong enough to hold the joint in place and the length of this belt is 60 centimeters 
now here you can see another piece of hardboard so the width of this piece is 8.5 centimeters and the length of this piece is 28 centimeters these both pieces are 30 centimeters long and 8 centimeters wide you can cut this piece here according to the length of your timing belt now we will start assembling our project now first of all we will attach all these bearing holders at these corners with the help of these small nut bolts you can see that these bearing holders are adjustable so you can adjust the tension of the belt later with the help of these bearing holders and now we will insert these bearings in the holders now we will attach this stepper motor bracket here with the help of these nut bolts and now the stepper motor will go here with the help of these small screws motor should be movable like this so later we will be able to easily tight or loose the timing belt now this piece of laminated sheet will be connected here with the help of these screws now we will attach this piece of hardboard here with the help of some hot glue i inserted these shafts into the rollers and now we will insert these spacers at the both ends of each roller like this and now the rollers will go here and the belt will go here like this and now we will connect this part here Okay guys so now we will attach these pulleys and the belt Okay guys so our conveyor belt is now ready 
and uh, now we will burn the Arduino code to the Arduino. Here is the Arduino code for our project. The code is very simple and easy and consists of only a few lines. So you can download this code in video description. After burning the Arduino code, connect the stepper motor wires here. Here you can see two pins to move the conveyor belt in forward or reverse direction. So we will need to provide a 5 volt signal to these pins to move the conveyor belt in any direction. So currently I am providing a 5 volt signal from this pin. But you can also provide a 5 volt signal from another Arduino to attach this conveyor belt with another system. Now we will connect a 12 volt DC power supply here. And now we will provide a 5 volt signal to any pin with the help of this jumper wire. We can control the speed of conveyor with the help of this potentiometer. You can see the conveyor is moving in both directions. You can see the conveyor belt is very powerful. So guys that's it for today's video. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. I hope you will like my this project. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.